Hey guys, welcome back to a long overdue video. It has been, couldn't even tell you, maybe six, seven months since I've filmed a video and I apologize, but I'm back. I'm so excited to be back. I've missed filming so much. So I wanted to do like a little get ready with me today. I'm literally going nowhere, but I'm like, I want to film a video. So let me do a get ready with me and just kind of sit down and just kind of explain what's been going on in my life and do like a little catch up. Okay, so the last time that I posted a YouTube video was I think in January. I really haven't even checked. And the reason is because I sold my vlogging camera like a silly person and I should not have done that. But my sweet boyfriend is allowing me to use his camera because me and him were watching a couple of my YouTube videos like a couple of days ago. And I was like, oh my gosh, I really miss filming. And he was like, Emma, I have told you this for months, just borrow my camera. And, but I was thinking, I was like, but I feel bad for taking your camera. He was like, Emma, I don't even use it. And I'm like, I know that, but I, it's still like, I still just feel bad because it's not my camera. You know what I mean? And he was like, no, I don't know what you mean. So I'm like, okay, whatever, I'll borrow it. And he's letting me borrow it. So thank you so much, Brandon. So the reason that I sold my camera was because I wanted to pursue photography. And I, I'm still doing that. Um, I'm still pursuing that, but I needed like a little bit extra money to buy a camera. Um, so I sold my Canon G7X, which, which is the one that he has also. So this is the camera that I'm filming on, a Canon G7X. Um, and I sold that one. Should not have done that because I bought that camera for like maybe a little over $600 from Best Buy. And now you can't even get them from Best Buy because they're always sold out. And plus they're like $1,000 now. And I'm like, what? What happened to that, you know? I'm guessing, I mean, because it, it's a really good camera, so I understand why, but I'm guessing TikTok just blew it up, so thanks TikTok. So Brandon's just going to let me use his until I can afford to buy a new one, which is going to be never probably. So a lot has been going on. I've started photography, I'm starting a new job at the end of this month, and I'm starting school in less than a week, and I'm like, okay, whew, gotta prepare myself. Already have mental breakdowns about it, but I'm good. I, we're, we're good. We're good. We're good. The Lord is still faithful. He's still good. And I trust in his plan way more than I trust in my plan. But first off, let's go ahead and get into this. My skin is already moisturized and everything like that. Um, that's another thing. My skin, it's not as bad as it was. If I can insert pictures, I'll try to. And as you can see, it's been breaking out. Or like Maybe like a week ago, my forehead broke out so bad and like I think it was because of I switched my products which I never should have done that but when I get breakouts like from hormonal acne I immediately like think oh my gosh I need to switch my skincare when the rest of my face is perfectly fine it's just this down here and I'm like I need to switch my skincare I should have never done that a year ago my skin was perfect flawless nothing wrong with it because I was using, I think I was using like Panoxyl, which I started using that again because my skin is breaking out like crazy. Um, and this La Roche Passe is like a triple repair moisturizing cream. And so my skin was flawless when I was using that. So I started using that again and hopefully trying to get it back right. But this is what my skin is looking like now. And it was worse than this like last week. Your girl's skin has been going through it, but... Praise the Lord, we are trying to fix it, trying to get it back right. Um, honestly, all Panoxyl has been that thing for me. Like, every time I break out and I use it, it's like it fixes my skin. And I'm like, okay, so I just need to stick to Panoxyl. I'm using three. I'm using the, um, the First Aid Beauty, the Gentle Cleanser. I'm using that in the morning. And then the Triple Repair Moisturizing Cream. And then at night, I use the Panoxyl. Starting off, um, I'm just going to put on this Lancaster, it's a 30 SPF, but it's like a tinted um, protection. Um, I got this a couple weeks ago, and I've, I've really barely used it. The reason is because I saw this girl use it on Instagram, and her like it looked so good. I was like, okay, I'm influenced, because I'm, e I'm easily influenced, like duh. Um, but it reeks. 
like actually I really don't even know if I want to use it like it it smells so you're putting a ton of like chemicals on your face like it's just I don't know I mean it looks really good though like here let me show you this is what it looks like and when you rub it in like it looks really good it blends out really well on your skin and it just gives you like a little bit of can you even see that <laughs> never mind then I don't even know if you can see it anyways it normally looks okay but I'm guessing not no more anyways I don't even know if I want to be putting this on my skin cuz like because of my acne I'm just like a little bit scared so I'm actually not gonna use that today but my Merit Beauty, y'all know I have, I've been using this for, I've been using the same one for like two years. I don't even know if that's good. But I've, Merit Beauty is the best sponsor me. Love them so much. Um, so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit under my eyes because my eye bags are crazy. It's okay though. Um, and I don't even have a mirror. I should have gotten a mirror. Popped these pimples last night. I shouldn't have, but I didn't have any um, Mighty Patches. I need to go get those today, but they're so expensive. Like, for what? So, I'm just going to blend this out. But, yeah, going back to um, buying a camera. So, I sold my Canon, and then I bought a... It was like a Lumix G85 camera. And the reason I bought it is because it was like a photography... Kind of like a vlogging slash like photography camera. It was It was a good starting camera. I was like, okay, well, I can just get this one because I can still vlog with it and, yeah, and everything like that. It turned out, like, it was, like, bigger than this camera because it was, like, really, like, compact and it was a little bit, he it was obviously heavier and I was, like, trying to, like, hold it up with my hand. I was like, oh my gosh, like, this is, I can't hold this for five minutes straight, you know what I mean? Which is a little bit dramatic, but anyways... So I just, I was kind of like, you know what, Emma, just take a break from YouTube as bad as I don't want to do it. And I, I could have vlogged on my phone, but it just, it wouldn't have been the same, you know? So I was like, you know what, just take a break. I mean, focus on photography, see what, see what you can do here. And photography has been really good to me. I've had a lot of people um, reach out. Um, it was a little bit slow the past couple of months, which I was fine with, um, but I will say, I don't think photography for me is going to be something that is like like a job one day. Um, because I'll be real with you, I really like photography. I really like it. I love meeting new people. I love creating. Um, I love working with people. Having the ability to like bounce off of each other and use different ideas, I really like that. But it's not something that... I think I would do full time. When I first started, I was hoping that it would be like that. But now I'm just kind of like, I don't really know if I want this to be full time. I do think I'm going to be doing this for like a really long time because I love to do it. Um, so anyways, I just don't think it's going to be a full time job for me. Like I'm saying, that's, that's my will. I don't know what the Lord has in store for that, but I will say the Lord has really he has really shown up with this. I've gotten a lot more opportunities starting this. It's really been awesome. When I first started doing photography, I asked if I could start taking pictures at my church just to get more experience and they let me volunteer, which was awesome. Um, and I've been doing that for the past couple of months. I volunteer like maybe, I think it's like one Sunday, one or two Sundays a month that I take pictures from my church. And that has been the most rewarding thing I have ever done. Just just catching people in like that intimate place with the Lord. Like they're, they're on their hands and knees. They're praising. You, you can tell they're going to war and prayer. And it's just like I love capturing those moments. Especially like in a community of a church. Um, so honestly that's been the most rewarding thing. Okay so next with my little. I went in with the Merit Beauty what is this bronzing stick in the shade clay and y'all know that I've, like I said earlier I've been using this stuff for like two years I want to show y'all how much is still left in this and granted I don't use this every day but I do use it a lot look how much is left in this 
this is gonna last me a whole nother year i have this little now this one this may not last me as long because i use this more than i do those two like sometimes i'll just throw on this blush and call it a day um but it's the one it's the shade of beverly hills and it is so pretty to me i'm gonna put this on today i love it i think it's so cute I did get another blush a couple of months ago that I really like, but it's like a powder blush. I, the reason I rarely use it is because this girl is pigmented. It's like I literally just, that's it, that's all you need. Tap some off at that. Okay, that was a lie. Well, it's, it's very pigmented and I'm like, ooh, see? It's just one little tap. That's all you need. Super cute. I love this blush so another thing that is new i start school this monday today's thursday i start school this monday i am very nervous because i don't know well i know how it's gonna go because i did school last year but i took a year off because one i did not know what i wanted to do and i wasn't going to go into because i went to a community college first and just got like those you know whatever those classes are called out of the way and i wasn't gonna go into my bachelor's like not knowing what i wanted to do so i was like let me take some time gather my thoughts see what i want to do see what is good for me to pursue and then i will pursue it i'm starting back with my getting my bachelor's in business administration and i have a chance to i, I didn't choose my concentration or my minor yet because i really didn't know so my advisor, she was like, well, you have to take a management class and a marketing class. So just see which one you want to do. And then you can, and then you can minor in whichever one you like the best. And I'm like, okay, that sounds, that sounds perfect. And I'm, I'm very nervous because I haven't like, I haven't done school in a year. And I'm like, oh God, like, have I forgot how to do school? My bachelor's degree, I actually want to try and not just do it to get a degree like i want to push myself to get the grades so that i know like i did all i could that is my goal for this for this degree because with my associate's degree i would be so real i didn't really try and i really don't like that because i feel like those grades aren't my grades it's like you you, you get what i'm trying to say I guess I'm just nervous because I don't really know what to expect because I was doing JCC and this is like an actual university. So I'm like, I don't know how their professors are going to be. Also, my hair is starting to grow. Praise the Lord. I wish I would have never cut it, y'all. Because now I miss my... I did cut it to like right here, I think, in January. And it's August now. So this much has grown. So I'm thinking if this much grew in seven months, then it'll be down here by the end of the year. That's what I'm thinking. I hope so. I mean, this this is a cute little length, but I miss my long hair. I feel like I've learned about myself. I'm a long hair girly at heart. Don't do short hair because it just, I don't know. My confidence is like with short hair and like with long hair, it's like up here. You know what I mean? Next, I am going to just do my mascara. I'm going to keep it simple. Um, And I tried a new mascara. When was it like? two or three months ago maybe two months ago um because i saw this girl do it on tiktok <laughs> easily influenced here and it was a tubing mascara and so a tubing mascara when you take it off like it don't smear like when you take it like i literally take it off with water and it doesn't smear it just comes off in like little tubes i guess it's the come hell or high water by cali ray this is what it looks like and i'll open it up i ended up loving it and this is what it looks like well, the reason that I love it is because I curl my eyelashes because I actually have pretty long eyelashes, but they're stick straight. And so when I curl them, this mascara, it like makes it last like a really long time. This is just like a regular eyelash curler. I think it's from Revlon maybe. See, it just like, see the difference? Okay, so here is the top lashes, and I'm going to be so real. I never do my bottom lashes just because I don't really feel like it, but I'll do it just for this video. So this is what it is giving with one coat compared to this one. I 
Oh, okay, so I'm big through. Okay, and I'm just gonna do a little bit of lip liner because, or lip liner and lipstick because why not? Actually, that does not give. Ugh. Okay, let's hope this fixes it. Um, this is a, I got this as a free birthday gift from Ulta. Okay, so I have switched locations, but I wanted to kind of end the vlog here. Um, but I wanted to show you guys, I actually am not upset with this lip color. A lot of girls have like their set lip liner, lipstick, lip oil, lip, whatever they have. Um, and I don't have that. I want to find me one that like goes with my skin tone, goes with my eyes, my hair, you know, just like it brings in everything. And I feel like I haven't found that yet. If you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. I wanted to show you guys a, um my coffee that i've been drinking lately um if i don't go to duncan because i'm gonna be so real starbucks like hmm. it don't hit like duncan does but i hear the exact opposite people say star or duncan doesn't hit like starbucks does but if i'm not going to duncan i'm going to this coffee shop in downtown smithfield called the gilded pear if you live near smithfield area in north carolina you have got to go to the gilded pear one, their people are amazing. They're super sweet, super nice. Two, their coffee is like the best coffee that I've had from like a like a hole in the wall type place. Because sometimes when I go to like coffee shops like that that aren't like Dunkin' or Starbucks, their coffees are like like hit or miss. You know what I mean? But the Gilded Pear, like they hit it every time. They hit it on the nail every time. When I'm at home, I this is the coffee that I love to drink. Um, I use the Busy Cold Brew, the Organic Breakfast Blend, the unsweetened one, and the Chobani Coffee Creamer, the vanilla flavor. This is a very expensive mix right here. I get it from Publix, but it is so good to me, and I don't feel that bad, like, drinking multiple coffees a day, because this is only 20 calories of coffee, and this one is, um, 35 calories. And plus the ingredients are really healthy. They're actually real ingredients. They're not like that made up stuff that is terrible for you. So I'm good with spending the money on something that's not gonna hurt my body like that. You know what I mean? So I just pour my coffee and then I pour my creamer. I do, a, I don't wanna say a lot of creamer, but I, I do a good amount of creamer because I like my coffee sweet. So yeah, that is my go-to coffee that I've been doing at home. But when I'm not at home and I go to Dunkin', my normal is like a regular like iced coffee, four cream, four liquid sugar, call it a day. But Dunkin' released a new cold brew, the S'mores cold brew. Oh my lord. I, I saw a TikTok of um Campbell Puckett. I think that's her last name, Puckett. But Pookie, Pookie and Jet. Love Pookie and Jet. She is pregnant. So happy for her. And him he is the sweetest to her she is the sweetest to him they're like they're couple goals for me right there that's how i aspire me and brandon to be but anyways love her i love him and but she tried the s'mores cold brew and i was like omg that looks amazing like with coffee i'm normally the one that like if it's good i'll stick to it because coffee for me it's like oh it's very hit or miss sometimes but the s'mores i was a little worried but when i when i had it like the marshmallow cold foam Oh my lord, it is so good. I tried to recreate it here, but mm, didn't really mm, didn't really happen. I'm gonna try and look up a Pinterest or like whatever a recipe maybe on Instagram, trying to like recreate that. But um, yes, yeah, so I kind of want to get like a like an espresso machine to like try and do all that stuff because every time I look up on TikTok, like people that do those cool looking coffees it's they're always having an espresso machine i don't know for sure if we'll get one but i hope so but anyway so that is my little coffee spill but yes yeah, so i just wanted to kind of end the video here um and thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it i know it was literally just me yapping at a camera for however many minutes this is gonna be but i'm so happy to be back so happy to be filming again and i can't wait to make more videos um this upcoming fall season so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i can't wait to make more um and i will catch you guys in the next one peace